today I still feel like crap. Uh, I think I actually feel a little worse than yesterday, but we'll see how it goes today. Uh, Manuel's here today. We're going to be working on different things. Uh, like I said, we're going to work on the trial machines because they need some work done to them, some maintenance. And uh, I'm also going to teach them how to figure out how much concrete we need for foundations. Uh, I'm going to start teaching them everything about concrete because uh, I think I'm going to put them on concrete first, let him handle some concrete jobs on his own. Uh, obviously, I'm going to help him at first. And uh, little by little, just kind of cut him a little more rope. So we'll see how that goes. Some donuts and kolaches. What? I don't, I don't need sugar, son. Oh, man. But thank you. Well, whenever Mercedes gets here, I guess she's going to have to eat all of them. Yeah, right. And Leroy. I like this guy. <laughs> all right, let's get to work. Man, I was kind of look, just looking over like all the plans. Mm -hmm. I didn't know y'all had projects all the way like in Yoakum and all over. Yeah. We got Yoakum, Elder. Yeah, well, I saw that one. Pierce. That one's over there by College Station, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we have one in College Station. Oh, y'all do have one in College Station? Yeah. Snap. We're going to start with that one. Oh, okay. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. There's uh, donuts and colleges. Thank you. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go teach my how to do this. What? Get out of your way. Okay. Good. Just kidding. She's not kidding. <laughs> Everything is volume, mm -hmm. right? First, we gotta do the perimeter beams because they're a different depth, right? So we start with the beam volume. Well, you can start with whatever. So the interior beams are 30 inches, and the exterior are 30 inches. No, they're both the same. So they're all the same. What's the same? 12 by 30. 12 by 30. On, all, on all the beams. All right, so then we're going to just add up all the beams. We have 50 to here. We have 40. So 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? Mm -hmm. 8 times 40. All right? Mm -hmm. I took care of all these beams. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 at 70. Alright? Mm -hmm. 5 times 70. Standard right there. Okay. So that's all the beams in here. Okay. And then we have these. So we have 1 at 44. Okay. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 at 10. Those are all the beam uh, lengths. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's 320. That's 350. That's 44. 44. 50. 4, 7, 11, 16. Carry the 1. 764. Well, you have to get the volume, right? That's the length. Now we need the width, which is 1. So it's times the height. Stand over there. The height is 30 inches. Mm -hmm. How many feet is that? Everything has to be done in feet. That should be two and a half. 2.5. Okay. So 70, 764 times one is 764 times 2.5. What is that? It could be 1,910. 1,910? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cubic feet. Feet. We need cubic yards. So you divide that by what? How many cubic how many cubic feet are in a cubic yard? A cubic yard is one yard by one yard by one yard, right? There's three feet in a yard, so it's three times three times three is twenty-seven. So you divide it by twenty-seven, and the answer is seventy. 70.7 70. yards. That's just in the beams. So you run that up? Okay. Well, not yet. So that's in the beams. Uh -huh. So the slab, let's do the slab. The slab is 3,000, yeah. 3,273 square feet. Okay. Um, and it's four inches thick. 
Okay. So 3,273, that's square feet, right? Now we need the height. Uh, four inches, inches right? so times 0.33 feet. So 1,080. Yeah. 80.09. 80 Divide that by 27. What is that? 40. 40. 40.003. Okay, so the, the surface we have 40 yards. 40 yards. And the beams we have 70. 71. So it's 130, no, 110 yards. 110. Okay, so we're going to call the concrete company and we're going to tell them we need 100 plus. So we need 110, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to order 100 plus. The reason you do that is obviously for whatever reason, you don't want them to send all 110. All of, they're not going to anyway because they don't have enough trucks. Right. Uh, however, you're going to tell them 100 plus, right? Just in case it takes 105, okay? However, as you're, as you're pouring concrete, you're doing math and you're doing math and you're doing math and see how it's advancing and all that oh, good okay. stuff. And uh, when you get, you know, close, you know, you get to about 80 yards, 90, you start getting an idea how much yeah, you're gonna you need. need you may need, you may say, hey, bump it up to 110 and I'll call you for a kicker. You may need more than 110, mm -hmm. but you start playing with it. You know what I mean? Right. So we're gonna order 100 plus for this job, okay? okay. And uh, that's really that simple. All right, let's go work on the trial machines. All right. All right, so here's the trial machine that we're gonna work on today. It needs to be cleaned up. It needs a bolt. It's missing a bolt right there. We're probably gonna put a new belt on it. That one's looking pretty old. Uh, it needs a new set of blades, change the oil, maybe a new spark plug, we'll check it. And uh, just kind of give it a little bit of a cleanup. Comes with a spray. Environmentally friendly concrete softener. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna so use to clean the trial machine. Yeah. So this is uh, Wackman's EcoCrete. We're gonna use this to clean the trial machine with, and then we also have some eco coat that's going to protect the uh, trial machine. So why are you having a hard time opening those boxes there, I didn't Manuel? Have a knife. You don't have because you don't have a knife. I, well, I do have one. I just didn't bring it. So what good is your knife then? Exactly. <laughs> so this is the uh, eco coat. So the eco creek <laughs> is the uh, is used to soften and clean up the uh, tools, trial machine, whatever. And the eco coat is used so that uh, it no longer sticks to it. So this one you clean up dirty tools with, and then this one is so you can keep them clean. So we're also gonna install a new set of blades. We're gonna use the Wackman's uh, Blue XL. And uh, always, always get uh, your blades in pairs. You get a new one for the trial machine and then you can have a spare. You throw those in the trailer so that, you know, you always have a set of blades on the trailer. You know, you make the worst unboxing videos ever. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. So, so those are the new blades. So these are combination blades. These allow you to float and fan. Now here's the cool thing about this uh, Eco Coat and uh, Eco Creek. They are biodegradable. Okay, so we don't have to take any special precautions. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll this uh, trial machine over to the edge of the concrete. Now all of my concrete floors are sealed, so we don't have to worry about getting any uh, anything on the concrete. So uh, just roll it over here, Manu, and spray it and uh, then you can just pulse it off. And I can see it working. Man, you can tell right here already how it's breaking. Yeah. Breaking this up. This is pretty impressive. 
Look at this. Yeah, shit's hard, right? Well, it's coming off, though. Look at that. Softened it up. It softened it up. Look at this. It's almost making it into cream again. Wow. Crazy. All right, so it's been sitting for how long? 30 minutes or so? 30 minutes. Look how this thing looks. Let's see how easy that comes off. Wow. Look at this. It's crazy, man. right there you can see all of it it's falling off too I mean. yeah you can see it on the ground too yeah. man that stuff works this is the one I didn't screw up you didn't screw that one up? Well, I don't think so. It's still early. Yeah. Did you put an uh, O-ring on there? Or a gasket? Uh, yes. Where? Well, it already had the one uh, on the nut, but then it had the... Oh, the other one didn't need one. Are you I'm sure? Thinking, yeah, I'm thinking about the one in here. But the one inside here did have one. Right, well, is it going to leak? Well... Yes. Should Why? All right. Well, try it. Yeah, it's leaking. It's leaking? Yeah, everywhere. What did I tell you? <laughs> oh, it has no ring. It's going everywhere, man. <laughs> Put it on the grass. We'll water the grass at the same time. <laughs> Just pull the entire hose off the machine and then untangle it. Why? What was that? Why? Because the water hose is wrapped around it. And how? How did that happen? Because <laughs> you put the water hose there. All right, let me turn it off. All right, untangle that mess. Put the choke on. Is the choke on? Yeah. That's the bottom one, isn't it? No, that's the gas. The choke. No. Open the gas. the gas. Which way is open? What was that? Which way is open on the gas? Max is that way. See, it's closed. On is that way. Okay. See, it's right here. Fuel. Oh, okay. On is that way. And choke is this way. Alright. Man, that thing worked pretty good, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, sure did. Yeah, that thing looks brand new now. Maybe try to spray some. There's some spots that you missed. Maybe spray some more. Power wash it again. Look, it's it's already working over here. You can see it, right? You can see it working. Look, it's already softened that concrete. It's concrete. See, see that? Man, it's crazy. You have one this one with a big edge going this way, and this one's also with a big edge going this way. It turns around in a circle like this. So one of those is wrong. Yeah. Which one? This one. Right? I don't. 
don't know. Yeah, because you got the smoke. It spins this way, doesn't it? Which way does Clock it spin? Wise. Like a right. So you want this? No, this is. No, the, no, 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 no. That one's right. This one's right. This is the one that's wrong. Yeah. Why don't you do one at a time? Well, I did do one at a time, and then I put it put it on, and then right now I was like, no, that's not right. Cause that one's right. I just flipped this one. No, I said, why don't you do them all one at a time? When you would take one off, you put another one on. Take one off, just like spark plugs. You ever done spark plugs? Yes. You do one at a time. All right. All right, so the blades that we're putting on are the Wackman Blue XL. Wackman is the same company that makes the poly blades that we use. They make good stuff. All right, that's good, just don't, don't break it. Now we gotta grease the uh, grease all the fittings. Uh, go get a new belt for it. Oh yeah, we gotta change the oil too. Okay. But uh, put some grease in all the fittings. Right there where all the blades are, the arms. You right see there. it? Yeah, this right here. No, that's not a fitting. Right here. Oh, right there. Okay. See it? Mm -hmm. Right there. It has four. Make sure they all have plenty of grease. Okay. Not too much, but you know. Just enough. So make sure these arms move freely. That's all. That's what matters. Those arms need to be able to move. Because whenever you pull the pitch handle right here, see they all, they all work pretty good. So just make sure you get some grease on all of them. And once you're done, make sure you clean all that grease off. Oh, yeah, otherwise it's gonna get all over the slab. So, all right, what are you putting on there now? Eco coat. So you're using the eco coat. So after, as you guys can tell, the trial machine is nice and clean now. That's uh, we use the eco creed on there. Now we're gonna put the eco coat. This is gonna keep concrete from sticking to the trial machine now. And uh, we're gonna make sure that we coat our machines from now on going forward. All right. So after you uh, spray it on. Then you rub it on, almost like applying wax, right, Manu? Mm -hmm. Just like applying wax. All right, so we have two trial machines here. Uh, there's my 48, and that's my 36. The 36 is the one that uh, Manuel cleaned today with EcoCrete, and then applied Eco Coat on it. And you can tell how good that thing looks now. And there's the trial machine right next to it that hasn't been cleaned yet. I think it's pretty obvious how well the uh, that stuff works. I'm gonna put a link on the uh, description for you guys to uh, check it out if you want to. This is some really, really good stuff. I'm happy. I'm happy with that for sure. What do you think, Manny? Worked great. Worked great. So, I mean, I guess if we keep them clean. Uh... Yeah, so from now on, if we keep applying the eco coat on, uh, on, on them before we use them, then concrete shouldn't stick to them anymore. And of course, that's the key, right? Maintenance. Yeah, man, look at look at the it's difference. Like yeah, I mean, this one looked worse than that when we started. Oh, whoa, yeah, way worse. I mean, it was covered. Yeah, and look at it now. Look, look at this, brand new. Yeah. Yeah, that's stuff worked great. Load this one up. Yeah, I just load it right there. So we're gonna review the spray pretty soon. This is uh, we're gonna use it to spray day one. And I will put a link also on the description. Uh, this is an electronic sprayer, so pretty neat stuff. We'll review that one next. Next time. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's all we got for today, yeah? <laughs> we are Texas Barnuminiums.